Another outstanding feature of Comstar wireless systems is that all Comstar headsets and belt packs are programmable. Field programmability allows users to expand an existing system or replace a transceiver without having to return any items to the factory. In this video, we will show you how easy it is to perform the programming all by yourself. Headset programming is accomplished via the compartment on the underside of the Comstar Com Center. After you remove the protective plate, you'll notice there are two rows of buttons inside the compartment. Odd buttons along the top and even along the bottom. These two rows represent four vertical slots between buttons 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, and 7 and 8. Each programming button refers to a particular headset or compact identified by a numeric label located on the headset headband or inside the battery compartment of the compact belt pack. Up to eight non-switching wireless headsets can be programmed to any comm center. To begin programming, start with everything off. Then power up the comm center either by plugging in the AC adapter or by inserting a charge battery. When you turn the power switch on, the LEDs inside the programming compartment will flash and then go out. In order for a new transceiver to be linked to the comm center, the memory on that position or slot first needs to be erased. Press the number one button on the comm center to clear both positions number one and number two, or press the number three button on the comm center. That clears positions three and four, and so on. This means that if there is an existing headset that is assigned to a button associated with the slot being cleared, in order to program a new headset, that original headset will need to be reprogrammed later as well. So now let's assume that we need to program this new headset to button number two of our comm center. First, let's clear the slot, making sure that any previous programming to the number two button is erased. To do this, hold down the number one button until the red LED turns on, then release it. Press the button again until the LED turns off. Now we know for sure that position number two is cleared of any previous memory and is ready to accept the programming of a new transceiver. The actual programming sequence starts by inserting a battery into the headset or turning the headset on if there's a battery already installed. While the headset is searching for the comm center, the blue LED will be flashing. Now identify the volume up and volume down membrane buttons on the headset and press the volume down button three times. Then press and hold the volume up button until the blue LED remains solid. While continuing to hold the volume up button on the headset, press the programming button that corresponds to that headset in the comm center until the red light turns on. Once both blue and red lights are solid, release both buttons. The LEDs will remain solid while the headset is automatically linking to the comm center. This syncing process can happen quickly but might take up to 30 seconds. Watch the LEDs on the headset and comm center. They will both momentarily turn off and then come back on and remain solid, indicating that programming was successful. Remember, remember now, if an existing headset was previously programmed to a slot that was cleared, this headset must now also be reset. In this case, headset 1 needs to be reprogrammed back to its original space on the comm center. To begin this, you must first turn off the number 2 headset that you just successfully calibrated. Turn on the number 1 headset, and you should notice the blue light flashing, indicating its programming has been erased so we need to program it back to its original spot on the comm center. Here we go. Again, 
Press the volume down button three times. Press and hold the volume up button until the blue light stays solid. Now press the number one programming button. Both lights will be solid. Let go of both buttons simultaneously. And then watch for the lights to go out. Then when the lights come back on, this headset is also reprogrammed. You shouldn't have any trouble with this Comstar programming sequence, but our service staffs will gladly help you over the phone with any questions that you may have. Engineered to perfection, built with precision and excelling in performance, the ability to program wireless headsets to your Comstar without having to send anything back to the factory is just another reason why Comstar systems are the absolute best full duplex wireless headsets on the market today.